Well, greetings, my fellow spraiters. My name is Mike at Filmboy24, and today I'm going to show you exactly how I remove Super 8 film from its cartridge and then into my Lomo tank. So what am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about taking a roll of freshly shot or not so freshly shot, just exposed Super 8 film in the cartridge. We are going to remove the film. We're actually not going to remove the film from this cartridge. It is exposed. However, I'm going to do this one in the dark. So we're going to do a mock-up of one, but I'm going to use this as a quick example. And I'm going to show you exactly what my workflow is, my ever-changing workflow for removing this and getting it into this, my Lomo tank. This is the basics that I use every single time I load my 50-foot Lomo tank. I have two 50-foot empty Super 8 reels. If I'm going to put two reels of film inside the Lomo at the same time, I will use a third. I know it sounds funny, but I will use a third reel, and I'll show you why in just a minute. So the basics, I have a spin stick that I simply made out of an old chopstick wrapped with gaffer's tape, thrifty, two reels, a Lomo board, and then this board here is simply for my film winding, and I'll show you that in one minute. So without any further yickety yackety, and you got to have your film of course, uh, and a nifty little wire device that I made recently, thanks to Frank, who turned me on to Adrian Cousins' video where he uses a tiny little piece of wire to depress the little film pressure plate inside the cartridge. But if you don't want to use wire, I'll show you the way I've always been doing it. It works just fine, but this is such an easier method. So thank you, Frank, and thank you, Adrian. At any rate, let's zoom in, and I'm going to go through my personal process my process, maybe not yours, and then see what you think. All right, for this first step, what I do is I take my smaller board, my, my film winding board, take two pieces of painter's tape, and I just sort of, just kind of holds the board down so when I'm uh, spinning the film, it doesn't go crazy. Yes, it's gone crazy on me before. So we take the board down, now, what I am going to do is I'm going to start by showing you exactly what the process is with this roll of film, but I'm not going to finish with this roll of film. So as you can see, this roll has been fully exposed. So what I do is just take my little fingernail, poke it underneath the film, and I pop the end of the film out. Now this is the emulsion side. That's the side that gets exposed to light, obviously. I will pull a bit of it out, hold on to it, and then you want to take this uh, spindle and you want to go counterclockwise and sort of crack it till it spins somewhat freely, which it does now. Okay, now here's the part that I just changed. Let me show you what I used to do and then I will show you what I do now. I used to take a little uh, brass spacer just like this one here. And an old, this was a just sort of a, I think it was a wristband for one of my kids. Flipped it inside out and it fit perfectly. You pull the film out of the way and I would put it around the cartridge just like this. Then I would take this little spacer and sort of just push it underneath the film or the band rather Till it's seated right inside there and I don't know if you can see it but basically the rubber band is pulling down on that spacer and it's pushing down on that pressure plate and it's holding it down what that allows it to do is this film to pull out without scraping against that pressure plate that's my old way of doing things and it works wonderfully but in the dark I fumble and I've dropped that little piece a couple of times so the new way I took, I took some needle nose pliers and a paper clip and I bent it with the pliers into this shape 
Now what I do, the side with the spindle, pull the film back. If you push down the little pressure plate, there's only a lip on one side. The lip is on the side opposite the spindle. It's on the label side. The other side has only a little in, indention right here in the center. So what I do is I take this piece here, push down, hope you can see this, and then force it under the lip just like that. Now it's holding it down. And it's nice and secure. And then you can extract your film, just like you should. All right, now with that, let me show you. Take one 50 foot reel and I place it on a bolt that is pushed in from the other side of this piece of cardboard. And then I would take my cartridge, pull out a little bit of film, put a little crease in one end or put a little crease in the end, lock it in, get it started. Take this little guy that's been used hundreds of times, as you can see, pop it into one of these uh, center pieces here. Whoop. Popped out of the um, ring there. Popped out of the slot. You may have to get it started a little bit more than what I did. Yeah, just like that. Pop it in, and then I shut the light off. And then once the light is off, I just spin. Spin, 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 spin. Now, let me, I'm not going to do it with this cart. Let's take this cart and this roll of film with the exposed. And let's just pretend, because this is exactly how it would be. This is how it would be. So let's just pretend for a moment. And I'm going to take you through, because I promise you I'll show you every step. So this is our cartridge. Now, I'm feeding it, actually pulling it out of the cartridge here. It's going to be tough to hold, but. Now, what I typically do is I will take my hand or I'll take my finger and I will kind of hold it up because even though this pressure plate is depressed in, I still don't like it scraping against this edge right here. So what I will do is I'll take this finger as I'm holding the cart off, just barely off of the cardboard, is I'll hold this finger this way so it's hitting my finger coming out of the cartridge rather than this rough edge. So we will continue to spool. Again, it does much easier when it's just the cart. So we'll do it this way. And this is all done in the dark, obviously. Now, once you get to the end, it's not going to come off so nice and easy like it just did there. It is still inside the cart, like so. And you get to the end and it's going to stop. And you got to grab it and you got to uh, pull and you pop it out. And there will probably be a uh, sort of a little tail on it. That's what you want. Sometimes it'll break off in there. It's not a big deal. So now I've wound the film from my cartridge onto its first spiral or first reel. Now, I don't immediately wind this onto the Lomo tank. And the reason being is, well, for one, the emulsion is going to be on the wrong side because you want this emulsion to face out. And if I start spiraling this on, because remember your uh, perforations need to face down so they go inside the grooves, as you can see right here. And the emulsion is going to be in because your tank rotates clockwise. So basically it's going to go like this on your tank into your into your spiral on your Lomo tank and the emulsion is now in and you want that emulsion to be out. So what I do is this is where I take my second 50 foot reel, place it on here and in the dark I'm just used to doing it. You want to make sure the film comes off from the bottom of the roll, not from the top. So when the film is coming off of the bottom, around to the top of the new reel, loop it on, like so. Again, this is in the dark and it's easy to feel. I can feel the center post here. I can feel the, um, 
you know, the little indentions here, boom. And it's just as simple as holding your finger loosely on top of this. So there we go. Now, once you have it wound, it's, it's essentially now, it's the same as it would be inside the cartridge, but it's on a reel instead of the cartridge. I have terrible luck going straight from the reel into the Lomo tank. I know some people, uh, Adrian has luck with that, but I just don't have any luck with it. My cartridges sometimes hiccup and they stop and then everything pops out of the spirals and blah, 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 blah. So I don't do it anymore. I go directly from one reel to the other reel. Now I'm ready to go. So now I'm going to remove this. Now I will say that when I do this in my dark room, the bathroom, both of these boards are already taped down, one on one side of my sink on the counter, one on the other. So I don't have to do all of this in the dark. I do it all in the, in the daylight. But let me switch boards and I'll be right back. All right, I got my other board fastened down to the table. I have the film that I just wound. And I have my Lomo spiral and top cap. Now, your little plunger piece here, your center post, there is a spacer that you want to pop onto it just like so and set it aside. Now I have this usually just set aside in the uh, dark room. You'll take the top part and you will set it aside. I always take and put my, I have this little, I don't even know what this is, a little screw, but it's got a funky uh, sort of a flat round head. Flat round, yeah. It's a flat, but it's circular. Because of the indention here, I don't necessarily like keeping this flat. I don't like the friction. So I just put a little something on there for that indention to rest in, like so. Spins much easier for me. I'm not gonna get too much into the Lomo, this particular Lomo tank. If you're interested in seeing everything that I know about the tank, I will put a link to a video that I did a few months ago on that. As far as loading this spiral, we just transferred from one reel to another, this film, again, remember, and now it is sitting just like it would be in the cartridge. But remember, you want the perforations down, so you flip this over in the dark, and I set it onto this protruding screw head, or screw bottom, that's sticking up from my cardboard here. I will take the end of it, draw it across. In the dark, you can feel these ridges here, this long ridge here. Oh, and by the way, you, I don't know why I'm holding that. You don't need that. And I will insert this into the ridge here. Spin a little, make a little loop into, and then right, you can feel this with your, with your index finger as you're doing it. Right into this, pull it tight. And again, this is in uh, finer detail this particular part, much finer detail and closer up in the other video that I did, uh, so check it out. And you wanna make sure this uh, end of your film is not sticking out past here because you don't want it to interfere. You wanna spin this a little bit. This film will seat into the first groove here. Once you get to the end of this little raised area here, you stop put my index finger onto the reel and I hold the film out flat. I then reach over and I take the top cap, set it on, and with my finger I reach down to find that threaded hole. Find this. This is typically setting to the side with with this inside it so I can kind of it's easy in the dark to find it. Feel that hole. Work it around, find the thread. Thread it on nice and carefully. Do a last tighten with the top and I'm ready to go. Now you kind of hold this flat with the perforations toward you and I just start spinning. This is the way I spin my spiral, spin my spiral, spin my spiral. And you can see on the reel how it goes crazy over there. As long as you keep this flat, boom, look at this, we're done. Take your finger and just sort of run it in the dark along the edge. 
and pop that right in. And that is a perfectly spiraled 50 foot roll of Super 8 film. And that's it. That's all there is to it. It's really not that difficult. Practice, practice, practice. Practice it five, six, ten, a hundred times in the bright lights. Sacrifice a roll of film. I promise you, I promise you, you will eventually be a professional like some other people and you'll be doing it perfectly in no time. If you enjoy videos like this, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Punch that like button, turn it blue for me, and leave me a comment. Tell me what your process is. I'm sure it's equal to or greater than mine. And until next time, I'll see you on the very, very next go-around.